Good morning everyone. Today is January 27, 2021. In this video, we're going to take a look at the three stocks I'm watching for the earning report this afternoon after the market closed. The stocks are Apple, Tesla, and Western Digital. This is going to be a short video. I will highlight what the market is pricing in for these stocks to move on post earnings. So you have some level to keep an eye on. And a brief analysis just to get some context on how realistic these levels are. I will do a more in-depth analysis on these stocks in my midweek S&P 500 analysis video. If you'd like to see a more in-depth analysis on these stocks, be sure to subscribe and click on the notification icon. Now let's get started. Let's start off with Western Digital. Looking at Western Digital, the market right now is pricing in a plus or minus $4.16 move. Essentially, it's a plus or minus 8%. So uh, using the uh, latest close, we basically have a range of uh, 56.22 on the upside and 47.90 on the downside. As you can see, uh, you know, on the downside here, it's sitting right near this uh, high volume node on this composite uh, volume profile. So uh, there is a, uh, also a little bit of a support area in this, uh, you know, this uh, uh, high volume node here. But, uh, take a look at this. Let me draw a lower line here and uh, we'll basically see this price level somewhere close to the uh, 47.90. And then on the upside here is a little bit of a low volume zone. And uh, so uh, this uh, 56.20, we could easily come up and see it uh, come back up and retest this uh, recent high here near this uh, 56.22 level. Now if it uh, exceed these range here, let's say on the upside, there is a composite volume uh, value area higher uh, level up here near the uh, 6531 and also close to this gap fill here right near this uh, low volume zone here at 6610. Uh, and then on the downside, we could also see there's a possibility coming down to 4393, this particular high volume node here. And also you can see that there is a, a little bit of a resistance and it could uh, extend to the turn into support here. All right, so that is what uh, Western Digital look like. We're basically monitoring uh, this uh, 56.22 and 47.90. So those are the up down target level uh, that the market is currently pricing in. And here we are looking at Apple and at Apple, the market is pricing in a $9.90 plus or minus $9.90 move. That's essentially 6.9%, uh, just a little bit under 7%. So based on the latest close, that put the range, the upper target of 153.06 and the lower target 133.26. Now here in Apple, on Apple here, you will see this uh, trend line here, as you can see, I've joined in this uh, trend line and it's basically been uh, bouncing off of this trend line uh, pretty good recently. Also, the other thing is I have some Fibonacci retracement and also some Fibonacci extension uh, set up here. And I will discuss that in more detail in the uh, follow-up video in my midweek S&P 500 uh, video later on. So uh, we see that uh, for this particular uh, uh, retracement, there is a uh, 127 extension at uh, $161. Right? So that's uh, above this 152.06. And also I have a major move using the uh, Fibonacci uh, extension tool and there was a uh, 618 at the uh, 159.65. So these are the level that's in new high territory. So like I said in the past, you know, when uh, the stock is in a new high territory and a never never land, there's no prior resistance level for us to use uh, as a uh, potential target then I resort to using the uh, Fibonacci tool, the retracement and the extension to kind of just project some level. And that's basically what I'm doing right now to kind of get some reasonableness on the, you know, these, uh, what market is pricing in on some of these level. So certainly this 153.06 is uh, close to this uh, uh, major move at uh, 159.65. And that one major, you know, major move is basically uh, this particular, uh, you know, uh, uh, pattern here, this price pattern, and I will discuss that a little bit more in the uh, future video after the uh, post earning. So stay tuned if you're not a subscriber, subscribe and make sure you turn on that notification icon. So that's uh, you know the upside 
And then on the downside is the 133 also has some uh, uh, potential support level that I have marked off based on prior uh, price action. So there is a downside level support level of 131.45. So that's pretty close to that 133.26. So uh, what the market pricing in is essentially near this gap field here. Right? And then uh, there's also another level down here below the 131 is the uh, 125.95, essentially 126. And that's pretty much near this pivot high. Okay, so those are the level right now that we are keeping eye on on Apple. It's 153 on the upside and 133 on the downside. Now looking at Tesla, Tesla, the market is pricing in a plus or minus $74.71 move. And that's essentially uh, put into a 8.5%, uh, plus or minus 8.5%. And using the uh, recent uh, market close uh, price that put the uh, upper target at $957.80 and the lower target $808.37. So you can see that I have marked this off on uh, you know this uh, this level here. This is the uh, 957, and here's the 808. Right? And uh, also what I have is uh, I have a projected move here that pushes up with a one. Uh, you know, with a 618 at 970. So this 957 and 970 is uh, pretty much in a little bit of a confluence. So there is a possibility for the price to move up and even exceed this level here at 957, what the market is pricing in. Now on the downside, essentially coming back down to, uh, you know, this, uh, this level here, you know, this, uh, this support area. So essentially this pivot low here and also it's a pivot I use to, uh, uh, make a uh, major move here. So again, I'll be uh, discussing this a uh, little bit more detail in my uh, midweek S&P 500 video. And uh, so right now, we'll basically just kind of show you what uh, how parabolic uh, Tesla has been. And this is a weekly chart. You can see that ever since the uh, pandemic low back in uh, March uh, 2020, it extended to have uh, went up more than uh, 10%. Uh, I mean, not 10%, more than 10 times. Right, you know, so you can see that's down at the the low is down at the seventy level, and right now it's near the nine hundred level. So, uh, so that's how uh, euphoric is getting on uh, Tesla. But uh, once again, you know, earning uh, a lot of volatility. So make sure you uh, uh, you know take that into account. I don't usually uh, trade to earning, so I'm just kind of uh, uh, putting up these uh, price level based on what the market is pricing in. And kind of keep an eye on it and then uh, see what kind of price action and see uh, if there are any opportunity after earning to uh, make a trade. So good luck to everybody and uh, be sure to uh, click the thumbs up and help me promote and share this video on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Good luck to you. Have a great uh, trading day.